This is a steering shaft uh, hub. Um, I wanted to show you this um, trick for solving a problem with these types of parts. Um, you find this on a lot of the vintage carts and even some of the modern carts. Uh, there's a, a steering shaft that's almost always 5 8 diameter. Some of the older carts are, are a half inch, but the standard's 5 8 and um, they have a spline on the shaft and an internal spline on the hub and uh, what normally happens with these it's a problem is that when you put the half inch nut on this end of the shaft and tighten down it on the steering wheel it is supposed to tighten this hub up and it actually does that by bottoming the internal spline on this hub rid this shoulder back here but there's very little engagement you only you're shoving the some of the, the edges of these teeth into this edge of this uh, relief and what happens is that after you go and drive the cart for a few laps and bring it in a lot of times the steering wheel is loose because you deform the metal here on these small spline features and it gets loose so you tighten it and then the same thing happens and it loosens, you tighten it, it loosens, you tighten it, and, and some of these hubs are made of powdered metal and they can even even break after a while after you shove this shoulder deep enough into the spline and it damages the spline. Um, but you get this situation where the steering wheel is loose a lot of the time and it's, it's very frustrating. So um, one thing you can do is take a like a 5 8 lock collar and, and place it here behind the hub and that can work. The problem with that is that you know it's just friction holding on the shaft and it can slide down the shaft um, because you're putting a lot of torque on this nut on the end. So the idea I had was to do something a little different. I, I bought some of these, this is actually a half inch split collar uh, clamp. I bought some of those and machined them. Um, if you can see this, I took uh, a 5 8 end mill and went down about 300 thousandths into this 3 8 wide clamp so there's a shoulder here that's about 75 thousandths wide and that shoulder I designed to fit into this relief groove and almost all these steering shafts are going to have a relief like this that they place there to do the broaching operation to put the spline in. They generally blank out this area relieve this and then do the broaching to form the spline so almost all the shafts will have this relief back here and the idea is to use this sh shoulder that I've machined in this clamp to fit into that relief that way now when you tighten this clamp down it can't slide down the shaft because it's locked into this slot and that'll help keep this um, hub tight uh, on the shaft so now when you put the hub on tighten it down it'll bottom against this clamp and the clamp won't move and everything will stay stay tight and you won't damage your spline from retightening um, and shoving the uh, the hub spline into the, uh, the the shoulder on the shaft so give that a try see if that uh, works for you